Axiolef, the least invasive solution to lumbar fusion. The operating room setup fits conveniently on a Mayo stand and follows the procedure sequentially from left to right. First, the paracoxygeal notch is palpated and a two centimeter incision is made lateral to the coccyx. A blunt guide pin introducer is inserted and advanced along the midline of the anterior sacral surface with fluoroscopic monitoring. At approximately the sacral promontory or S1, S2 level, a guide pin is engaged and tapped into the sacrum. Once the guide wire is engaged, a series of sequential dilators are used to create a working channel. A dilator sheath is attached to the 10 millimeter dilator. The dilator sheath is left in the sacrum to create a transosseous working channel. The guide wire is then removed and replaced with a 9 millimeter drill which passes into the L5-S1 disc space. A series of nitinol disc cutters varying in length and cutting actions is used to prepare the disc space. Each of the four cutters is designed to debulk the nucleus propulsus and lightly abrade the vertebral end plates circumferentially up to a three centimeter footprint while creating a bleeding bed for fusion. Tissue extractors are used intermittently between the four cutters to extract the diseased disc. A bone graft inserter then follows to fill the disc space with the mixture of autologous blood and demineralized bone material. A 7.5 millimeter drill is then advanced into the L5 disc space. To determine the length of the 3D axial rod, the guide pin is reinserted to the end of the working channel and retracted back to the sacral face. The guide pin is then reinserted and an exchange sequence occurs to establish the working channel for implantation of the 3D axial rod. Once the exchange cannula is in place and flush against the sacrum, the 3D axial rod is delivered over the guide wire. The 3D axial rod is designed to distract the vertebral bodies, restore disc height and indirectly decompress the neural foramen. A material inserter is used to deliver bone void filler that is injected through the holes in the center of the 3D axial rod. A rod plug is then used to fill the cannulation of the 3D axial rod. The axial lift procedure is complete via posterior instrumentation with either pedicle screws or facet screws. Axial lift, the least invasive solution to lumbar fusion.